What's up guys, Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors. You can see the logo, you know what we have here. We got an unboxing of some dive bomb products that we're gonna test and review on the channel. Stay tuned. So getting right after it, we're just gonna get this, rip this right off here. We got a ton of stuff in here. First things first, this is their new power hoodie. It's got a ton of features built in for waterfowl. You know, you got your pockets in the front. There's a lot of features in this. I'll go over all that in depth when we get into it and actually do the review. But I got it in covert green. This is insulated. So it's good for those early morning hunts, especially those in-between temps hunts. It's a little too cold for a regular hoodie, but it's a little too warm for a coat. This right here can do you good. Plus, they got a built-in uh, face mask on there too to help you protect there. They got a lot of features they jammed into this bad boy. And once again, I got it in covert green. We'll go over the features of that once I do the review of it. This little package, you can see it says anchors. Okay. So there's your oversized carabiner that is made to hold all the anchors and this this joker is large i like that it's got a rubber grip right there it's, it's not really rubber it's more like a foam so your hands don't get so dang cold when it's cold out and you're grabbing your dozen decoys this it latches good it looks like it's built good clearly says not for climbing we don't plan to be climbing with us these anchors are a little bit different than what you're used to seeing uh, they're supposed to be resistant. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. <laughs> they're supposedly resistant uh, to tangling. And uh, I'm just going to pull them all out real quick here. It looks like they are. I mean, all these are dead nuts. I mean, they're not even, they're not tangled at all. And that's how they ship them. You can see in there too, they're the bombs. With a little DB on there. That's just dope. <laughs> That's cool. So these are 48 inch, 6 ounce. So when it gets a little bit deeper at the lease, uh, we can use these. Also, you can see they're coated, so they're not black. They're actually like a matte green. They're stainless steel cable. Then you have the dive bomb weights. Oversized carabiner, aluminum Cable crimps, super strong and overbuilt, will not tangle or kink. So that's all the facts on it. Okay, so now all our weights are on our carabiner, and then these would just be attached to your ducks and into the bag, so let's get these aside. That's their 12-slot bag. You can see there's mesh in the bottom. Looks like there's good room available in there, so you're not gonna be beating on your decoys. And then, classic dive bomb, this just comes up, and you can, you know, close it just like the silos. You have a beefed up padded strap here to carry them. And, like dive bomb's known for, collapses right up. So that's closed up. That thing is sick. We've actually been wanting to get these decoys for a while to test and review on the channel. And uh, finally, we were able to do so. And these are the Dive Bomb F1 Mallards. They do look good, though. They do look really good. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can get a good toss on them, too. <laughs> okay, so these jokers right here. I tell you what, these things look good. They're not flocked, these are painted heads. But I mean, look at that. The detail in them. Your boy's a double curl here as well. This is almost like a feeder or a skimmer. You can see the keel they got on there. It really is. They're a little bit of a harder decoy. They have a little bit of flex to them, which is good for us because we hunt cold water. We want some flex. Flex is not a bad thing. So there's like a raster and looking like this, having that much exposed, this should catch wind really easy and allow it to move. 
So that's just kind of like a lookout. He's just chilling. Uh, that should catch good wind too. Once again, I mean, you can see how good these things look. And the carve and the look of all of them, they look great. They are a little heavier though, so I'm thinking it's going to take a little bit more wind to get these to wiggle, which we got a lot of, of things that can help with that. Now looking at the hens, this is where these ones do all the talking. So there's a hen. You can see the colors on her. She looks really good. Just kind of like a semi-rester. Okay, there's another hen, kind of like a skimmer. She's just, she's searching almost. And you can see the carve and the, the detail to them just looks amazing. And your last hen, right there. All right, guys, so you get eight drakes and four hens. You can see them in here. It's not heavy. It looks really good. I think the bag is almost the best part about it. We'll just take these for right now, throw them in here, and we'll close this bag up. Okay, so there you have it. There's the power hoodie, which we'll go over that once we get to test it. This is a dozen decoys, F1 Mallards, in the bag with the weights. They're really light. I like the bag. It doesn't take up a lot of real estate, which... That's the problem with waterfowl hunting. Seems like everything takes up so much space. This doesn't. We'll get into the big specs, the weight, how they work, all that stuff once we get to hunt them. Once we can actually review them, get footage, hunting ducks over them. Because at the end of the day, all that matters is what the ducks think. I haven't seen anything bad from them from the first look. I think they're going to be lights out. I really like this setup especially how we hunt it'd be very portable very easy and light that's that's really a key but guys i want to keep this video as short as i can once again the power hoodie we'll break that down in its own video we'll break down all these in a review etc it just would be too long to try to do it all in one so as always smash thumbs up button for your boys let us know what your favorite decoys are for waterfowl what you thought of these, what you thought of this whole package, etc. You know we'll respond as soon as possible to every comment. Lastly, guys, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Check out the channel. We're the home of the no BS, honest performance talks, rest walks, testing. All we care about is performance. We will know how these boys handle the old New York waterfowl season. We'll see how it does, how they do, how the ducks like them and we'll give you our honest feedback. I really like them right now, but we'll see how it we'll see how it goes after season. Make sure to share these videos with everyone you think could benefit from it as well, guys. But we got to go set up a cell cam, we got to go check a goose field and get after it. Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors, and as always, I hope you're having a great day. I'm really excited for duck season. This just makes me even more excited for duck season. But it's early goose. Let's go hammer some honkers.